Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how I colored my newest wig. So you're going to need some clips, some shea oil or you know an oil of your choice, a bleach and some developer, 30 volume developer. So this wig I made using a 7x7 deep wave closure from Barry's hair and the lace is transparent and then the bundles are from Nadula hair it is their Brazilian curly so the reason I sectioned out my hair using these little rubber bands is because I wanted an ombre look and when you use these rubber bands to separate the root from the rest of the hair it makes it easier to apply the bleach without worrying about any of the bleach getting on the root area because like I said I wanted an ombre and it just makes it so much easier rather than just trying to freehand it um, with sections of hair. And then the reason I use the cream developer for this step is because, well, if you've seen my balayage video, you know I used this developer before, or I used this bleach before, because it does have oils in it to help um, protect the hair during the bleaching process. And on top of that I added in some shea oil. Now you can use any oil you want. Last time I colored hair I used avocado oil but I ran out so I just had this laying around and this is from the brand Shea Moisture. So I first applied it to the hair and then I mixed some in with my bleachy mixture. And I don't really measure anything, I kind of just freehand my bleach mixture so I can't really tell you um, how much to add but I like to have my bleach mixture a pudding consistency. That way it's very easy to apply to the hair and none of it is going to slide off and then it's not too dry to where it's not going to um, process the hair because it dries out too quick. And then of course I have my trusty aluminum foil to help speed up the process. You could leave the hair out and just let it process in the open air but I like using aluminum foil because it does speed it up just a tad. So yeah, this is me just going through the hair and applying that bleach mixture with the 30 volume developer. And I only use this mixture on the bottom half of the wig. On the top of the wig, I used my Blonde Me bleach and developer in 40 volume. And the reason I did that, just like for the balayage, is because I wanted the top of the wig to be just as bright as the bottom of the wig. But in this case, the bottom of the wig did not lift um, the same way that the closure did. So next time, like I said, I think I'm just going to use the hair from the same company. I think I said that in my balayage video too, but I had this hair lying around and it matched perfectly. So I'm just like, let me bleach it, let me try. But you cannot lift Nadula hair very high. That's what I've come to decide. Like I bleached this hair twice pretty much and I still only got it to like a golden brown so I'm probably not going to be purchasing any of their hair if I want to bleach it because it just doesn't lift to the blonde that I want so uh, yeah uh, I'm just fast forwarding through this so you can see how I apply the bleach of course you can be neater with it you don't have to apply it with your hands you can use an applicator brush but I just wanted to get it over with so it's it was quicker for me just to use my hands starting with the top sections like I said I used my blonde me um, developer and bleach from the Swarthkopf Schwarzkopf? I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's from the same brand that makes the Got To Be Glued Free Spray. Um, so I used that to do the top half of the hair, and this has a blue tint, so it does help to color correct a bit. And once again, I'm just applying it with my hands and then using the foil to speed up the process. And I left this on for 45 minutes before I started taking out the bottom foils. So this is what the hair looked like and I did go ahead and add the leftover 40 volume developer bleach mixture onto the bottom half because the hair just was not lifting and I was hoping that that would um, aid the process but it didn't. The Nadula hair just does not lift. And now you can see me pulling out some of the foils near the top and once again you can see that the hair is just this brownish color 
and I'm going back in with that same Schwarzkopf bleach and 40 volume developer to try to lighten the hair. Now when I reapplied that mixture to the closure it lightened really well but like I said the Nadula curly hair just would not lift past a golden brown. This is what the hair looked like after I reapplied that 40 volume developer and bleach mixture. I did not rinse the hair between the two applications. I just put it on top of the bleach that was already there. And then after about 25 minutes, I washed it out with the Silk Elements Neutralizing Shampoo. For conditioner, I went in with the Blonde Me Keratin Restore Bondi Mask for all blondes, and this is also from the Schwarzkopf brand. And I applied it to the hair and used my Tangle Teaser Dupe to comb it through. And as you can see, the hair does not look fried at all. It still has the curl pattern, and it looks very moisturized. So I was contemplating try to lift the back a little bit higher because it it's obviously two-toned, but um, I decided against it because I didn't want to fry the hair and lose that beautiful curl pattern. So I decided to go in with a Revlon Color Silk Permanent Hair Color in the shade Medium Ash Blonde. And the reason I chose this one was because I did not have any ultralight ash blonde on hand, so I used what I had. And even though this is not ultra light, it will still get rid of those orange tones that you get when you bleach dark hair. So that's what I used it for. So I first applied it to the back of the wig and let that sit for 30 minutes. And then I applied it to the top of the wig and let it sit for an additional 30 minutes. So um, overall, this wig processed with this permanent hair color for about an hour. And then after I rinsed that out, I did go in with the G 2 Minute Protein Treatment. And then I let the hair air dry, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now, I didn't do a disclaimer, so I'll do one now. Please don't attempt to do this on someone's head. I am not a professional. I only work on wigs, and most of the stuff I do is trial and error. I just like to show my viewers how my looks are turning out, just in case you have a wig and you want to try it out for yourself. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next video. All the links to the products I used and the videos I watched will be listed down in the description box.